Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. When you calculate an economy order quantity, you identify how many items you should order to minimize order costs. However, you can't always order that exact amount. Supplier might require you to order their minimum quantity. Let's say 30. And your job is to find the lower cost quantity that you can order while meeting your supplier policy. In this video, I will show you how to do that. Let's begin. You can find my sample file in this video file collections. In my workbook, I have two worksheets. The first one is called Constraints, and that's where we will work. In here, I have calculated the economy order quantity for the item with the parameter that you can see in cell B3 to B7. If you haven't watched the video on the economy order quantity, you can click the link somewhere around this video to rewatch it. You can see that the EOQ or Q star is 219.09. However, it turns out that we can't order exactly that amount because the supplier requires us to order an increments of 30. And you can see in the table that I have created over the right in the column D through G to calculate the order cost, holding cost, and total cost for each of the quantities that I have listed in the quantity column. When we are done, we will find the lowest total cost and order that amount if we can. My first task is to calculate my total order cost if I will only order 30 items at a time. So I can see with a flow rate of 1008 that I will have to order 60 times throughout the years. And if my order cost is 1,200, then the order cost should be doing a little max here is 7,200. So let's see if that works out. In cell E4, I will type equal and I will have the flow rate, which is in cell B4. And I don't want this reference to change. So I will press F4. And I will divide that by the quantity which is in cell D4 because I'm at the table. Excel identify it as an add quantity. In other words, the quantity columns in the current table and we will multiply that by the order cost. So multiply by the value in B3 and again, I want that reference to stay as sublets. So I press F4 and enter and I get my order costs as expected. If I order 30 at a time at 7,200, if I go 10 times, that amount is 720. It looks like my calculations is correct. Next, I need to calculate my holding costs. And because I'm always ordering the same amount, I assume that I have half of that inventory on hand at any one time. On day one, I will have the full complements. So for example, 30 items, but at the end of the period, I will have zero and 30 plus zero is 30. And you will divide that in half and your average inventory on hand is 15. So to calculate the holding cost based on average inventory, we click in cell F F4, type an equal sign and 0 0.5 to indicate that we have half of the particular quantity on hand at a time. Multiply that by the value in the quantity column. So I will click cell D4 again, get the same indications before and multiply that by the holding cost, which is in cell B7. And I don't want that reference to change. So I will press F4 and enter. And there we go. We get our holding cost and the ratios of the value of 135 at quantity 30 is 10 times that when I have 10 times in the quantity. So everything is good here. And the total cost is simply the sum of those two values. So in G4, type an equal sign and we will just do E4 plus F4 and enter. 
and then we get our total cost. And as we scroll down, I can see that the lower total cost is at 210. So 1973 and 57 cents. However, do note that if we order in increments of 240, which is above our economy order quantity, then it is only about $6.50 more expensive. So the question here is whether is this worthwhile to take a little bit more of extra inventory or save $6.43 a year. If you would like to see this data layout visually in, in this chart, you can switch to the total cost chart worksheet. And there you see how the quantity per order affect your total cost. And after you order about 150, you can see that the cost doesn't change all that much. Okay, that's the end of my sharing in today's video. I will record more video like this with sample file to share with you guys. So subscribe to my channels and click the notifications button here to be notified when my next video is available. Once again, I really appreciate you guys for liking my channels. And my name is Vivian. I see you in my next video.